Okay, a quick video because I'm running out of uh, space on the iPhone. Uh, welcome back, Thrill Seekers. What we've done here, what we've swapped over, is we've made a tiny, tiny little coil in there, a rodent coil. That's a, a cork core, or an air core, really. Um, and that's driving it. This bigger one is now the pickup coil, going to a full wave bridge rectifier. Uh, the voltage reading here is a 12 volt SLA, very old battery that's been punished. My drive battery is down to under 12 volts. Um, haven't charged that up recently. Uh, current draw for the drive coil. And basically I'm, I'm going to start the motor up. And then we're going to, we won't get up to the RPMs that I had in the last video because my drive battery is depleted. So we'll see how far we get. And then we'll hook up the, uh, the gen coil to the charge battery. Anyway, you get the idea, that'll rev up again in a second. Probably need to restart it. Target oh, something, don't know what it is. Uh, too much current rule. So if I disconnect. I thought it something up. Try it again. Something's shorting out somewhere, I think. Could be that the drive coil is shorting out. But anyway, hopefully, uh,
Oh, just disconnected it. Spinning fine. But I think gen coil might have... Something's blown somewhere and it's shorted it out. Uh, disconnected it. Disconnect it completely. Put the drive coil power back on. No, something's still bugging. So, back to the drawing board. Find out what's shorting out where. Uh, anyway, can charge a, uh, a battery no problem. Basically a little bit of uh, RPM loss when I'm charging. Uh, not much loss or not much extra current draw in the battery when I'm charging from the drive battery. Uh, hopefully some of you will find that useful. Speak to you soon. Bye.